Today, we are going to show how you can use the Azure Marketplace to deploy a fully functional GitLab Community Edition server in Azure. What is GitLab? It's a self-hosted Git management platform, an open source continuous integration server. You can also perform code reviews and collaborate with merge requests. It includes an issue tracker and wiki for every project. So, do you use Git? Need a remote repo? Would you like to track bugs and merge fixes and features? Then keep watching. What is the Azure Marketplace? In short, the Azure Marketplace is a store of nearly 1,000 virtual machine images, developer services, and more. Some are from Microsoft, but most come from our partners and the community. By deploying from the Marketplace, your servers and services are up and running quickly and ready to go without having to deal with setup and configuration. So what do you need to get started? All you need is an active Azure subscription. If you don't yet already have one, you can start off with a free $200 trial by visiting aka.ms forward slash try Azure. Other ways to get access to Azure include your DreamSpark, BizSpark, and MSDN subscriptions, or a simple pay-as-you-go account. Let's get on with the deployment. If you don't yet have an Azure account, start with a free trial. Now navigate to the Azure portal found at portal.azure.com. Click New and then search for GitLab. When you search in the portal, it will also include results from the marketplace. Click GitLab to continue. Take note that the default username is user at example.com and the default password is bitnami1. Next, you will need to enter some basic information including the name of the virtual machine, a username, a password or SSH key, which subscription to deploy this into, a resource group, and finally the location. If you are not familiar with resource groups, they are a logical container of related services. So you could group this deployment along with other developer services in the same resource group, or you could simply give it its own resource group. Now, you'll need to select the size of your virtual machine. A1 will do fine as GitLab is not very resource intensive. For settings, the defaults will do just fine to get started, but it's worth exploring further as you may wish to reuse existing storage accounts or deploy this server in the same virtual network as others. Click OK to move past the summary. Now we'll have to accept the deployment. You'll note that the GitLab Community Edition has no fee above the compute costs on Azure. What this means is you only pay for the cost of the virtual machine. Other solutions may choose to charge a fee or have a bring your own license model. Click Purchase to start the deployment. After about six minutes or so, your server will be ready. One of the things you'll want to do right away is apply a custom DNS name to your virtual machine to make it easier for your team to connect to. In the dashboard for your VM, you'll see its public IP address. Clicking on it will open its settings. Under Configuration, you can define your custom DNS name. Clicking Save will apply the changes and you'll be able to access your server using this new name. Remember that the default username is user at example.com and the password is bitnami1. To learn more about GitHub and other solutions from bitnami, check out gitlab.com. To learn more about the Azure Marketplace, check out aka.ms forward slash try Azure MP. Thanks for watching.